Well, Alan, for various reasons, it's been a long time coming, but good to have that winning feeling again. As um, delighted, as I said, for the players. Uh, they put in a huge effort tonight. I thought it was you could see the togetherness, even for right for the start of the game. I thought the fans were excellent as well. You look at the run we've been on, it was quite easily to kind of um, got on the boys' back, but they get right behind the team. They knew how important uh, a win was tonight, so thankfully we get the three points. As you say, go to a bright start. Higgy looked sharp, won a free kick, and brilliantly taken by James Craig. Delighted. We created chances tonight, and that's maybe over the last few weeks. Um, it's something we've struggled with. We've not created as many chances, no scored as many goals. But you could see tonight, obviously, we only get the one goal, but we should probably have scored a couple more as well. Fair to say, you stepped up a gear in the second half, and uh, amazing the ball. Didn't get in for the second goal, uh, scrambled off the line, McMahon has hit the post, but it just wasn't to be. Yeah, no, we created loads of chances in good areas, putting teams under pressure, making them defend everything we asked for. I thought we defended really well as well. And you look at some of the boys that have come in as well, guys like Lewis Martin that's not played much this year, Callum Morris, who's been out of the team, attitude was fantastic. Higgy came in, I thought him and Ryan Williamson linked up really well. But it was a lot of other really good performances as well. Young guys like Tom Beadle in the middle of the park, I thought he was everywhere tonight running tackles. Um, so that's the type of performances we're going to need if we're going to kick on. Players you've brought in in the transfer window, obviously taking a game or two for them to uh, settle in, get to know each other's game. Do you think that's beginning to take shape? Hopefully. Um, and you look at the, the strength on the bench as well. And even with John and Joel missing as well through injury, then we're going to need everybody over the next few weeks. There's a lot of games. I mean, you've got that strength and depth, then I'm sure it'll, it'll pay dividends. Tonight's game, though, while it was still at 1 0, there was always uh, the danger that Inverness could sneak a goal. But did, did you ever feel there, you were under serious threat? I thought we defended really well tonight. I thought we deserved to win the game. Uh, created the most chances. We were on the front foot for the majority of the game. Um, so it was great to get the three points, and hopefully now we can kick on and start putting a run of results together. Yeah, Livingston and Morton. Livingston with a late equaliser tonight, and you said they're almost win games from here in, but a crunch game on Saturday against Morton. Every one uh, between now and the end of the season is going to be a crunch game. And you could see, obviously, we need the fans getting right behind us again. As I said, I thought they were fantastic tonight. Uh, really good atmosphere. And if we play like that, I'm sure they'll get right behind us again and hopefully get another three points. You mentioned the range of choices you've got from the, the squad now. Maybe a few thoughts before Saturday, particularly left back. Lewis Martin did himself no harm at all tonight. No, as I said, the boys that have been that haven't played regular, especially recently, came in and done really well. And that's that was the the chance they've got to come in, take their chance. And um, so I'm delighted for them.